Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once-a-day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 696, just a few more until we hit episode 700. The category today is a continuation of the alphabet trivia trace. Today's letter is V, so all 20 answers will begin with the letter V. There are only 20 questions, no question 21 tiebreaker today. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck on today's quiz. Question one, what is the name of the small paleolithic figurine found in Austria from around 25,000 years ago and may have represented a mother goddess? That famous little figurine is the Venus of Willendorf. Question number two, a screwdriver cocktail is an alcoholic highball drink containing the simple ingredients of orange juice, ice, and which spirit? A screwdriver is traditionally made with vodka. Question number three. Vietnam is a Southeast Asian country with the capital city of Hanoi. What is the currency of Vietnam that is abbreviated to VND? It is called a Vietnamese dong. Question 4. Originally entitled Coffee House in the Evening, the 1888 oil painting Cafe Terrace at Night was painted by which Dutch master who died in France in 1890? The answer is Vincent van Gogh. Question number five. All men must die translates to what two-word term in High Valerian in the George R. R. Martin fictional world of Game of Thrones? Often heard on the television series, they say Valar Magulus. Question number six. Star signs are also called signs of the zodiac. What star sign would someone be if they were born on August 29th? The answer is a Virgo. Question number seven. What is the name for any group of organic compounds which are essential for normal growth and nutrition in humans? Those organic compounds are known as vitamins. Question 8. Angel Falls, the world's largest waterfall, located in the La Gran Sabana region of the Bolivar State, is in which country? Angel Falls is in Venezuela. Question number nine. Lou Reed was a member of which rock band that made songs like Pale Blue Eyes and Sunday Morning that was called The What? That band was called The Velvet Underground. Question number 10. What is the first name of one of these last names that starred as Batman first? Bale, Kilmer, Pattinson, Clooney, or Affleck?
Out of that group, the first one to play Batman was Val. Val Kilmer. Question 11. Both of Shakespeare's plays, Romeo and Juliet, and the two gentlemen of the answer to this question are set in which Italian city? The two gentlemen of Verona. Verona is the answer. Question number 12. Which English actor, starring in Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, and Snatch, is a former professional soccer player? His name is Vinny Jones. Question 13. The Australian bioregion in Western Australia and South Australia, with an area of over 160,000 square miles, is known as the Great What Desert? It is known as the Great Victoria Desert. Question number 14. What was the name of Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin's spaceship, which was the vessel used for the first human spaceflight in history? That ship was the Vostok 1. Question 15. Known in some countries as a goods and services tax, what type of tax is assessed incrementally and is abbreviated to VAT? That is a value added tax. Question 16. Recognized as the fathers of the internet, Bob Kahn and what other man were the two inventors in the early internet? His name was Vint Cerf. Question 17. Who was the first European to reach India by an all-sea route from Europe via the Atlantic Ocean when he arrived at Calicut on the Malabar coast? The European we're looking for is Vasco da Gama. Question 18. What is the name for an endorsement on a passport indicating that the holder is allowed to enter, leave, or stay for a specific period of time in a country? The answer is a visa. Question 19. Which former number one in the world, Belarusian professional tennis player, won the 2012 Ladies Australian Open by defeating Maria Sharapova 6-3 and 6-0? Her name was Victoria Azarenka. Question 20. Which movie starring Hugo Weaving is about a shadowy freedom fighter known only by the alias of V? The answer is V for Vendetta. Alright, that is it for today. 
Thank you for watching today's episode. As I read back through the questions, I realize that today was a little bit more difficult than some of the previous letters. It gets harder when you get to the V's and the W's and the X's and ones where there aren't that many words that start with those letters. So if you did good today, good job. If you did not do good today, don't feel bad because like I said, as I'm reading back through them, this was a tough round. So thank you guys for watching. Check back tomorrow. It will probably not be that much easier. We will be doing the letter W, which is another difficult one. So we're wrapping up on alphabet trivia. Towards the end of the month, we'll get done with that. And we'll get into Christmas trivia. Thanks for watching. See you then.